So we're back out here on Parque Fernando again today, and we're going for another mule deer hunt, despite the fact that it seems like every time we come out here lately, we either get a really ugly diamond mule deer or just like a bunch of level twos. We're going after him again, and we're going up the east coast this time. I don't know why I've never placed a tent down here before. It kind of seems like I should move it farther north. I have run all the way up to here so far, and there's been nothing. I know there is a zone somewhere south of this lodge, and going down there, the wind's always bad, and I always end up spooking those deer. So I may move that tent at some point, kind of seeing that there are no zones way down here in the south. But yeah, I want to go up through here, and... I figured, since we're going to run this area anyway, we're going to do it during water buffalo drink time as well. Just because I do want to replace some of the old diamond water buffalo we got. It was just when they were making diamond super commonly, and I kind of don't consider those as legitimate as most of the other animals in the lodge, so maybe we can kind of work on that as well. And this is exactly why I wanted a tent down there, because there's actually a lot of mule deer that use this zone, and usually, like I said, coming from the north, I end up spooking them. So I don't see anything particularly huge in here. I don't know if I spotted that one. That's a 3 up to 249. I actually don't know if that's a gold rack, and I'm kind of curious, so we might go for him. Because we know the one gold level 3 rack, it's got like the little stickers off the tines. And I might have seen one in there somewhere. They're actually going to cross kind of right here in front of us. I don't know if I did see one of those. There's a 4 though. I don't know where that guy was hiding. So we'll see if we can maybe get a shot at him. If they go that way, it should be kind of doable. Probably a brain shot, so not going to get the gold, but got two out of here, so that'll be good. I didn't know there was a second zone over there. So I wonder if I always just spooked them coming down and never saw them. I'm actually not sure, but we have the 7 mil today, so... I'm going to be a little more confident going for shots like that. I just wanted to kind of change it up since we've been using the 303 and the M1 lately. But I did want to know if this level 3 rack can make gold, because it's kind of wide. It's still silver at 215. It might be able to because it's that close. It's only 7 below the requirement, but it's a pretty good looking deer. So I'm not sure if brain shows vital blood. I guess we shot plenty low. That was 192 meters, so... He would have dropped down in, but he actually barely made gold as a four. So we've seen threes with this exact same rack, which maybe that's what I saw. And that's why I didn't know there was a four. I just thought it was a three. But we've seen threes with a higher score than that. That's actually kind of interesting. And I guess just in the time it took us to get over here, those are the ones that were with the second level four. So we'll take one more for respawns. And that's got me wondering, actually, like, as we go up through here, are there going to be more Mule Deer Zones I didn't know about? Because I had planned to just fast travel to the Lodge, because I had never seen more than just one. But we've already had the two. That guy's going to be probably a bit annoying, but I think we'll try to claim our other ones first. He's going to be charging towards where we shot, so it's going to take him a while. So this guy should be a little bit better as a level 4. 241. That buffalo is getting kind of close, so better not hang around too long. And if we can just get him now that we're a little more in the open. Be nice if we can hit him. That'll work. Just kind of get rid of that before we end up dying and having to run all the way back up here. And then our other one's going to be right there, so that's interesting. I definitely didn't think we'd be killing four different bucks just down here. So, kind of starting off better than I thought it would. Another silver, but better than most of the ones we killed in the last video. Ooh, that's a four. I thought for sure that was another five rag. I think that's that, like, tall kind of almost square one. I do like that one. I almost wish it was one of the uh, diamond racks. This is interesting. We're still south of that lodge. So maybe that's the zone that I thought I knew about. That would make more sense as to why I didn't know there were, like, two down south of us. But, yeah, I gotta move that tent because probably... Between the three zones, I think there's only the one buck here, but there had to be close to 10 total. So that's going to be a spot to go back to, but that's definitely a good looking one. I really do wish that could make diamond, because I just like it as a mule deer frame. But we'll definitely take it as a big gold. It would figure, by the way, that a big one is a blonde for a type. 
They just all seem to be, but... Actually, I don't love the fact that the brow ties are touching there. Everything else about that frame I really like. The mask and everything just looks really nice. Don't care for the brow tines, though. Alright, clearly I've just been overlooking the south area. Because there's another buck there, and he's calm, so it's not like he was with that big one and we just didn't see him. That's going to be the fourth zone. Just south of that outpost? And I had no idea. I thought there was, like, one. So, I think five total bucks now. Or maybe six? Just south of there? The one negative, I would say, is just it's already 11.30. Because we spent a lot more time chasing them than I intended to down here. Figures even a level 2 we can get a pretty ugly looking one. I mean, that actually looks kind of cool compared to the fives that just don't really look quite as neat. But yeah, we're going to have to change the time. We're not going to make it all the way to that outpost. So we'll go out past this one like, like a little bit, maybe to there. And then we'll go back and reset the time just to make sure we're not missing out on anything. I don't think that would ever have a chance. But that actually could be a diamond at level 7, because I think it's 167 or 168. He goes up to 170. The diamonds have like a lot taller horns though, so pretty sure he's just going to be in the 150s, but if he'll lift his head... I wanted to at least try to make a hard shot there, but it's got to be just single lung. So that's going to require a little bit of tracking. Maybe we can cover a bit more of that ground. I don't know where it would have been, but that's a max weight mule deer track, so... Let's go and get the buffalo, because otherwise we're just going to leave it behind. Or... He's right there. Guess that'll work too. That's actually a really high estimate for that rack. Wait a minute. How is that... That's one of the best threes I've seen. They are definitely interesting. I think that's going to get that guy. I'd like to get the three as well. Just don't know if we're going to be able to. Probably like intestines or something there. If we go and get the buffalo, that should give him time to expire anyway, so... That actually worked pretty good. That's another really nice seven, and there's more mule deer over here. The problem is we have a water buffalo chasing us. I don't know where they're all coming from. Like, I really don't. I think that's going to be a long shot on that guy. We need to keep on moving so we don't get run over, but let's just try to get rid of this. Would have been good if we were reloaded, because had a pretty easy opportunity to second long shot there. I just saw... I think our other buffalo is laying dead right there somewhere. This is, like, the most animals I've probably ever killed on a quick little run like this. Unless I've just shot every water buffalo that I've seen, which I don't often do, so... I'm seriously quite uh, pleasantly surprised with what we've seen so far, but yeah, I kind of thought that was going to be a 151. Very often, the really high estimate lower level animals are right at the bottom of the estimate, and I have no idea why. It's that most recent update that seems to have done it, but not a big deal. I don't really want a level 7 diamond anyway, kind of trying to get rid of some of those. But we even got ourselves a bonus mule deer, which again is just a silver, but we'll take that. And as far as I could tell, the second bit of hunting pressure here appeared pretty quickly. So we might have actually gotten into the intestines there. So this would have been the level 4. He's a 254, so an estimate up to like 315 or 314, whatever it was, is a little bit exaggerated, I would say. He might have been like a 250-something. I don't know what the range is on them. But then I saw the blood. It's somewhere right back behind us here. It was a non-vital hit, so he won't go too far. We actually did have the height on that shot just about right, but a little too far back. I don't know that I've seen a level 3 mule deer with this rack, and he would have made gold. He's 4 above it, but of course the intestine shot kind of nullifies that, so... All kinds of interesting things so far as far as mule deer, but even if we wanted to hold out hope for the late zones, it's past 12.30 now. So we'll go here and we'll rest, and the one good thing is we've got another couple hundred meters. So we probably don't have to do a whole lot of waiting. We can probably just go. By the time we get to areas we haven't been to, they should kind of be into their zones. That's actually another pretty nice water buffalo. I don't know if we can get a long shot. That's kind of a tough angle on an animal that big. You just have to penetrate through a lot of, first of all, the hide, and then 
intestines and stuff to even reach along? It should get him. We actually shot a bunch of stuff over here already, so hunting pressure is not going to be much we can really look at, but I don't see a huge splash of blood that looks like... Actually, maybe it is vital. I really didn't think we'd get it. He didn't go anywhere. It's still just a medium bleed rate. I wonder where that hit him. Because I would think, like, stomach, liver, lung or something would be a high bleed rate. I don't think that's really where we placed the shot, but that's exactly what it was. Stomach, liver, and lung. Well, that went probably as well as it could have for the angle we had. It's so nice to just see good-sized mule deer again. Because, like, we killed the diamond in multiplayer. And pretty much that entire last hunt, I think we had the one max weight estimate one when the game crashed. We did shoot some golds, but that's number five or six that's going to make gold. I don't think we had that in all of the last hunt, and we shot, I think, over 20 mule deer. I'm pretty sure, at least, that this is the rack that I thought the one earlier had. And this is the one that I kind of wish could make diamond, because it just looks really nice and it doesn't have the brow tines touching. But he's still, what, 50 below? They really do get just huge. And as long as they're even, they tend to look pretty good, but in, uh, in my case, they tend to just not be even. So clearly we should have just came here last time, because there's just a bunch of really good sized bucks, and I don't know if like all the good respawns ended up over here. Because I did go and shoot pretty much all the mule deer I could in every other place but this, when I uh, did that run before the video. And there's just everywhere we go, <laughs> there's max weight decimal ones. And I don't think these would all be initial spawns. That could be the case. What the... I don't know how that missed. I know it was a little bit far, but... Pretty sure we should have hit it. Well, anyway. Hopefully he stops for us and gives us a second chance. I mean, he's barely even over 200 now. He didn't cover that much ground. We'll keep that a little higher this time. And there was another warning call. I guess from probably one of those two. Just gonna bring that guy down, so we better quit at that, because clearly this is a good area and I think that's three there. I could tell there was something going on there, but I didn't realize how narrow that was. That looks kind of odd, but definitely nothing compared to how ugly the diamonds have been. I know that one, the level two that we shot, he died somewhere right in this area. I don't know if this is him or if this is the bigger four. Okay, that's the two. And I think he's our second biggest now at 272, and we almost messed it up. I ended up being a liver shot, but the difference it makes just to see good sized bucks as we're doing this. What is that from? Is that how we missed? I know we didn't shoot. Like, the buffalo wasn't in front of the mule deer. I did kind of notice it reacted weird. There's no way we killed it. But that's interesting. But anyway, it just makes, like, grinding for diamonds of anything, but especially mule deer, it makes it way more fun when you just see good sized ones. It seems like just all the good sized water buffalo we see today are just big sevens. I wonder if we can get a hard shot. I haven't done that in a while. It had to be close, yeah. There was a time where we used to just go for that all the time. And I started doing it on Cape Buffalo and stuff, and I think that's probably why I even still knew how to do it, but it's always just satisfying to drop like the biggest animals in the game in their tracks. I wouldn't be too surprised if that's up in that 150 area again. Wait a minute. Did I misread his estimate? Because I thought 151 was the max? I don't know. I'll have to pay attention in editing, I guess. But that would be our biggest one. We are kind of getting close to where I think we're going to end this run. If we have time, which I think we might just have enough, we are going to go and check this lake again because there's just a bunch of mule deer there. And maybe Respawns will be a little more kind to us this time. We actually got a pretty decent respawn up here, so I was getting kind of worried after the last video because every respawn buck seemed to be just really small. But there's no way we missed that. I've been up here a couple of times since I did that initial run. That's got to be a respawn. 
And that definitely gives some confidence for uh, continuing to do this, so maybe it was just extremely bad luck. And I don't know if we were far enough away. Yeah, he's right there. There was a mythical just chilling up here. I don't know how I haven't seen that. It could just be that I was looking for mule deer and didn't bother. But we'll just send around hopefully through his lungs. Maybe just one of his lungs. He's gonna run a bit, but that's not gonna be a bad way to wrap this up at all. Kind of figures it would be, I think, the lowest scoring max way to submit mule deer I've had. But the important part is, basically, it wasn't a level two, so we'll take that. And honestly, that's really done a lot to uh, keep my motivation as far as continuing to go after mule deer, because I really want to get a good-looking diamond truac one. The truacs have been out for them since August. And for a long time there, they really weren't even reaching level 5. But now that they seem to be, I really want to get one that is actually going to look good somewhere in the Trophy Lodge. And hopefully the amount of bucks we shot today is going to help us actually accomplish that. But I think this is our third biggest water buffalo today, and he's the only one that made level 8. So you get to see a little bit of the impact of Truex. But yeah, at least compared to the last Mule Deer Hunt, that one went pretty well. I'm happy with the way that went, and like I said, hopefully... The respawns are going to be a little kinder to us this time, and maybe there'll be a five out here waiting for us on our next hunt. But I think that is going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.